Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 PlayStation games of 2020. For this list, we're only looking at games that came to the PS4 and PS5 in 2020. They can be either true exclusives that will never be on another platform, or timed exclusives you'll one day be able to play somewhere else. Let us know in the comments which exclusive you can't live without. Number 10. Sackboy A Big Adventure And he's about to have a very strange day. Welcome. It was a mystery why Sony decided to let the Little Big Planet IP gather dust since LBP3 in 2014, but we're glad that Sackboy made a grand return to star in a 2020 PS5 launch title. A Big Adventure may not have the level creation mechanic that made the mainline game so good, but it's got plenty of the franchise's trademark platforming. Only now, it's moved into 3D. This opened up an entirely new avenue for Sumo Digital to explore, and Sackboy regained his rightful place as one of Sony's best mascots. Check it out for a top-tier platformer with great visuals that people of all ages will love. Number 9. Bug Snacks. From the makers of Octodad, a game as bizarre as it is iconic, came Bug Snacks, the very first free game for PS Plus subscribers on the PS5. This weird game sees your journey to the island of Snacktooth, where you explore and study many of the titular Bug Snacks, which are just what they sound like animals made of food. Along the way, you archive which bug snacks you found in your bugopedia and witness the strange side effects that go along with eating the critters, namely that your body parts will turn into food. It's a cross between playing Pokemon and visiting McDonald's. Aloha, darling. Welcome to Wiggle Wiggle Bottom's steamy walking tour. Lucky you, you get an autograph. Number 8. Dreams. Sounds. And most exciting of all, life. Media Molecule may not have made Sackboy's latest outing, but they did put out Dreams in early 2020, which has plenty of user-generated content potential on its own. Dreams isn't just a game for people who love playing games. It's for people who want to make them, giving you the tools of a first-party development studio in the comfort of your own home. And if you're struggling to wrap your head around its wealth of mechanics, it's got a lot of tutorials and a game built in. Art's Dream, a smorgasbord of genres to show you how much potential there really is here. If you can dream it, you can make it. Aww. Number 7. Neo 2. <laughs> Not every Souls-like manages to stand on its own two feet, but Neo 2 has continued carving the path the first game set out to great effect. Its similarity not only to its predecessor but to the Souls games is only a strength, as players who love grueling but rewarding gameplay will feel right at home. But there are still lots of worthwhile additions, like weapons having a familiarity stat that means the more you use them, the better you'll be. It's also got an immense amount of role-playing options to switch up your build, not to mention more of the outstanding enemy and boss designs we've all come to expect. Number 6. Final Fantasy VII Remake Get down here, Merc! In 1997, one of the most popular video games ever made was released on the PlayStation 1. A lengthy, tear-jerking story spread across three whole discs. RPGs changed forever in the wake of Final Fantasy VII. In 2020, we finally got our hands on the much-awaited remake, a total ground-up recreation of the original game. It now has gorgeous graphics, an exciting new combat system, and most importantly, lots more time to spend developing the memorable cast of characters. Though there was a little filler here and there, it's an otherwise perfect package. The only problem was that it was just part one. Together, Cloud 
there's still so much to be done. Number 5. Astro's Playroom While Microsoft has stuck very closely to the controller designs of consoles past with the Xbox Series X, Sony launched the strangest PlayStation controller yet in the DualSense. With a stunning appearance and plenty of bells and whistles, they needed a game that would show people its potential. And that game is Astro's Playroom. Preloaded onto all PS5s, you'll be sorely missing out if you choose to ignore this 3D platformer. It's a small and inherently charming game that really gives you a feel for everything the DualSense will be able to do if developers take advantage of the new hardware. Number 4. Spider-Man Miles Morales Hey Genki, I uh... I gotta confess something. You were bitten by a spider and now you have powers? No, I mean, yeah, but okay. At the end of 2018's Spider-Man, Miles Morales finally got his powers after being bitten by a radioactive spider during the events of the game. Since then, all eyes have been on Insomniac, as we wait for them to make a sequel. Spider-Man Miles Morales may not be a full sequel to the original game, but there's certainly been no reduction in quality. Now we get to play as Miles properly as he works under Peter Parker's tutelage to become a Spider-Man in his own right. And if you didn't get a chance to play the original game, you can get a remastered version with the Ultimate Edition. Number 3. Demon Souls With more cross-gen games than ever before, the only offering in the 2020 holiday season exclusive to the PS5 was the much-awaited Demon's Souls remake. A complete, ground-up remake of From Software's 2009 classic, Demon's Souls is the main reason to upgrade from a PS4 ASAP. Though FromSoft themselves didn't spearhead the remake, it didn't lose any of its quality by moving to Bluepoint Games. And longtime Souls fans will be pleased to know that the game hasn't sacrificed any of its infamous difficulty. It's just as hard as it was a decade ago. Everything that's been changed, from the graphics to the music, are improvements you can't help but enjoy. Number 2. The Last of Us Part 2 By a mile, The Last of Us Part Two is 2020's most controversial release, with many players still reeling from the brutal death of a beloved character. But whether you thought the story was beautiful and profound, or you refused to play the game past the intro, it still succeeds in plenty of other ways. The graphics are best in class, as always, with a photorealistic rendition of post-apocalyptic Seattle overrun with greenery and zombies. The gameplay itself was a winner too, able to be fun and challenging from start to end. But most notable of all is the game's wealth of accessibility options, proving that Naughty Dog cares about players of all varieties. Here, here. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ghost of Tsushima After the lackluster release of Infamous Second Son in 2014, Sucker Punch dropped off the map. But in 2020, they returned with a vengeance, making one of the most outstanding games of the entire PS4 era, Ghost of Tsushima. Though it was a first-party Sony release, nobody was quite expecting it to be as good as it was. Everybody who played it at launch was blown away by the story, mechanics, and visuals. In a plot inspired by old Kurosawa movies, players took on the role of Jin Sakai, a samurai who needs to defend his home, Tsushima Island, from the Mongol invasion. It's an incredible game that excels in every regard, and with the recent addition of the free multiplayer mode titled Legends, it's sure to make a great lasting impression. <laughs> In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.